Yeah, that's right. I've done many videos over the last few weeks looking at uh, different setups for average golfers. And one of those things that we sort of found and looked at was the 7 wood, 9 wood, 11 wood. I've certainly tested up to a 7 wood at least. And it opened my eyes to the flexibility of having that product in the bag. Two weeks ago, I was in four golf, having a little mooch around the second hand stuff. And yes, there was a 7 wood in there. It was an old 7 wood and it was a classic that I used the 3 wood of many years ago, Mizuno MP001. And I've got to admit, I loved that 3 wood at the time. Don't know what happened to it, the usual thing, a new, bigger and better one came along and I miss it dearly. But I've now got the 7 wood. Is this the new club for the average golfer? The new go to club? In this video, we'll find out if it's going to stay in a bag or not. That's not a bad start. Right, so one of the big appeals of a 7 wood, 9 wood, even maybe 11 wood, depending on what you're looking for, is about the versatility of that club. It's a bit of a luxury in some way, so it's important for me to get it so I can use it in a variety of different positions. And the first one being, you can play no problem whatever from the rough. Cuts through it nice and easy, plenty of loft on it, and plenty of help in getting that ball out. And high. What a ball flight. Right, as ever, let's get the comments going. First of all, who's gaming a 7 wood? Who's gaming a 9 wood? Who's gaming an 11 wood? How much do you like it? How much is it a go to club? How much confidence does it give you? And how many of you have got one that's potentially 15 years old, this thing, I think? So we've played it from the rough. What about playing it from this kind of position, which I've been loving of late, which is this hybrid choke down on the shaft a bit. Bit of a putting stroke, particularly on the link stuff. And see if we can run it all the way there with this thing. Do you know what? That's not bad. If that could go in. <laughs> That's another box it ticks. I think it's fair to say, quite impressively. Now, it seemed a pretty obvious statement to say, yes, it's a club to go to on the tee, and particularly maybe tight par fours long par threes, it's a great club to have in the bag. Once again, that versatility. But it's the confidence that it inspires at address as well, rather than using a long iron equivalent, which is often a struggle, as you know, for us average golfers. Then playing something with this kind of bulk and mass behind the, uh, the ball at address, I think is a massive boost in terms of confidence. So yeah, lots of reasons why we should maybe all be considering putting a seven wood in the bag. See how this fares off the tee. And that is probably the best shot of it all day. Bang where I aimed. <laughs> Lots of carry. Ball Tracer can pick that one up. But seriously, I absolutely nailed that. Right, now one thing, one word of warning is make sure that if you buy this type of club, that you buy it for the right reasons and it fits in the bag in terms of filling a gap in terms of yardage, because I think that's the other thing, another mention in terms of versatility, in terms of what these clubs can do. So when you're starting to struggle with five irons, four irons, this is where these things can come into play. But it's important to spend the time either working out on the course or paying some money someone who's got kind of track man, that kind of thing, any launch monitor data that can work out kind of yardage. And I'm not 100% in where this sits right now for me in terms of yardages. We're playing around, uh, this is around sort of 200. I think, my guess, it's in around that sort of 190 carry. That is unreal, seriously, that's right at the flag. With a towering ball flight, is it carried? It's literally, and again, I don't think you'll pick it up. It's about a yard, where's the camera? It's about a yard short of the green. It was all carry. And again, it's one of the things you've got to consider. 
Would I have played that same shot into the strong winds, the prevailing wind, which this normally is on this hole, that same shot? No, I wouldn't. It's far too high a ball flight. So there's lots of things to consider. It's not as straightforward as just buying a seven wood or one of these woods and thinking it's going to do a job for you. If you're going to do it, do it sensibly. <laughs> it, it's not a way. It's kind of warning. No, don't do it sensibly. Just make sure that it fits the gap that you're trying to fill, is what I'm trying to say. It's not a pack of fags. Now, it's always a high risk strategy finishing off a video with a shot, but we'll do that shortly and uh, we'll, well, we'll live or die by it. But overall summary of the seven wood is, uh, I think it's twofold really. I think it's seven wood in general that we're looking to review. So is it a club that's worthwhile for average golfers? And I think 100% it is. We've already established that maybe in other videos. So that's one sort of uh, thing to take from it. Two, and I think the other big thing is that, look, this was 25 quid or something and I put a new grip on it. And uh, it's a very, very good club. Performs extremely well. And I think quite often, obviously, all I do is review new clubs because that's what I get sent. It's what part of the sort of job role is, if you like. But I suppose maybe more often than not, what I shouldn't uh, say or what I should make clear, because I'm not sure everybody sort of gets it, there's plenty of ways to play golf without spending lots of money. But I assume that that's a given, that people know that. So it's a case of, yeah, I review new clubs, but there's plenty of products out there that will do a perfectly good and adequate job. And this certainly ticks that box. Whether it stays in the bag, we will wait and see. I'll see how it fits in. But certainly, if I was looking, and like I said, I have been looking at this seven-wood scenario, then uh, why wouldn't I choose this one? Certainly based on today. And that, my friends, is right at the flag. I don't think it'll carry from here. No, it's quite, it's Matt's short. But a great finish. We finished on a shot, and it didn't go too bad. Video enjoyed every bit of it. Conway enjoyed every bit of it. I hope you did. Comments down below and uh, hit that like button. See you soon.